I'm Michelle Franzen in New York. As the financial markets close on Wall Street for this Tuesday, January 13th, this is Story Stock. Apple, the world's largest company by market cap, trending on Wall Street today after briefly leading the NASDAQ higher, giving Apple a boost, an analyst upgrade from Credit Suisse, citing strong iPhone sales as the next big driver for Apple shares. And to explain what's going on with Apple, I'm joined by Mariah Summers, markets reporter at BuzzFeed. Hi, Mariah. Hi. Let's dig in a nice bit deeper to into the analyst upgrade. How will iPhone sales boost Apple even higher? Well, there's still a lot of demand for the iPhone 6. Um, we have uh, an increased demand for the 64 gigabyte model, which is $100 more expensive than your typical run-of-the-mill iPhone 6 model. So that's certainly helping boost things in terms of uh, revenue from iPhone sales. Um, also, the supply of the iPhone 6s is finally stabilizing. Um, so you're seeing the fact that demand is going to continue at a very rapid pace and uh, increased pace and through March. Um, we're finally seeing enough supply to be able to um, fulfill all of that demand for the iPhone 6 models. Now there's also talk of another share buyback. Well, how likely though is this? It seems uh, pretty likely, at least in terms of this Credit Suisse analyst um, and his opinion. Basically, they have, uh, they're on pace to reach $200 billion um, in their cash return program in the next three years. Um, the reason that's likely is because at that point in time, they're going to have more cash on hand than when they launched the program in 2013. And so, and also Tim Cook has said he will opportunistically invest in um, share buyback programs in the coming years. What about uh, ideas that it would be better for a company like Apple to invest in R&D as opposed to buying shares? That's certainly one argument that's out there right now. Um, it's it's also, uh, there's also talk that Apple should be investing this money in external acquisitions. Um, the risk in, in doing that and not um, pursuing the buyback program is that they could spend that money wastefully in ways that could harm the core business. And their thoughts right now at Apple is that the money that they return to shareholders through their buyback and dividend pro programs is worth more to the investors in Apple than would be if they used it for, for external acquisitions and R&D purposes. All right, so we have the latest phones, we have Apple Pay, the Apple Watch is nearing its sales debut. Could this all also be a product that drives in the near term? Definitely. Um, some estimates show that the watch has a $30 billion valuation. It's the first new product Apple is introducing in nearly five years. It was a hit at CES, the big technology conference out in Las Vegas last week. There's a lot of buzz around it. Um, some are calling it the defining product in wearables, which is still a very young industry. And a lot of people are watching the a Apple Watch to see if, they, if Apple is going to correct any hiccups that the industry, as far as wearables, goes now is currently experiencing like um, low battery life. But other than that, it's been pretty much a, a very uh, shining outlook for the Apple Watch, which should be released um, any month now. All right, well, the techies are watching the watch. Lots of upgrades for Apple recently. Is the street finally recognizing Tim Cook as a worthy successor to Steve Jobs? I think definitely in the sense of the buyback program, that's what Wall Street wanted. Some of the critics of the buyback program are saying that um, it's Apple kowtowing to Wall Street demands. So as far as the street uh, is concerned, they're happy if the buybacks continue to create shareholder value. And of course, um, with the iPhone sales and the buzz around the watch, it should be um, a great year for Apple in terms of, of the analyst predictions and, and their reports on the company. All right, Mariah Summers from BuzzFeed, thanks for joining us. And you've been watching Story Stock. Stay with ABCnews.com for your latest headlines. I'm Michelle Franzen in New York.